If you want to know how to connect your Facebook leads to Zapier so you could use it for things like Google Sheets or connecting them into your CRM, you're in the right place. My name's Sean W. I'm a certified Zapier consultant and I'll be showing you how to do that today. We're going to go through this assuming you have a basic understanding of Zapier. Uh, if anyone wants an explanation of a basic understanding, let me know. Um, I'm sure there's tutorials out there or I'm happy to make one. All right, so first you need to make sure you're logged into your Zapier account. We'll start off by going to the make a zap button right here. And the first thing we want to do is we want to select Facebook. So we'll just type that in. And with the Facebook lead ads in particular, you do need to be on a premium account for Zapier for this to work. So we'll click to that and then we'll just select the new lead function and click continue. From here, we need to select our Facebook account. Uh, if you haven't set up your Facebook account before, just make sure you click on add new account and go ahead and set one up. Or you could just select your previous account if you've already done that. So I'm just gonna see if this account quickly works. And yep, so I'm already logged in as my account is already set up. So I'll first select the page and it's gonna be this one called One Art Cookie. And then we can select the form as well. Now with the form, you don't necessarily have to have your ad running at the moment. Um, it can just be a form that has been created that um, an active ad hasn't been running for but you do need to make sure that you have the right permissions on the Facebook page. So you need to make sure you're an admin and that you have advertising rights as well. But we'll click continue. And it's just gonna ask us to test the trigger. So we'll do that, which is completely normal. And just in case you're not aware, um, the trigger is essentially the, you can think of it as a first action um, that is going to get your zap in motion. So in this case, the trigger would be the new lead coming from Facebook. And in this case, we're going to set up the action to add this lead to a Google Sheet, which is something you could use for your clients or yourself. Um, and then during the video, we'll also go through a few other examples like the CRM. So we'll just type in Google Sheets and we're going to create a new spreadsheet row. We'll click continue. Now, I've already previously created a Google Sheet, which you can see right here. I've just simply named it Facebook Leads and I've just made it a really um, simple sheet with uh, this column being named. I've put the name and email right here. And we just need to select the correct Google Sheets account. Again, if you haven't set this up, um, go ahead and connect your account. But if you do have one previously, then select uh, the correct account. I haven't set this up for this particular Google Sheet, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, and once you've done that, again, click on continue. And then you should be able to select the appropriate drive and the Google Sheet as well. So that's just really simply do that from the drop down. And you can see the sheet I've created is literally named Google Sheet, Facebook Leads rather. And then you do need to select the worksheet as well. And now that I've selected the correct worksheet, we could see the two fields have showed up that I've created in the spreadsheet, name and email. And when we go back, they are selected right there. And then once we click in these boxes, we can essentially select um, what data we would like to be mapped within each field. So in this name field, I'm just gonna select full name right here in this email. I'm gonna select email. And then once we click on continue, it's gonna ask us to have a quick test of the zap and we can t click on test and continue. And we can see this green tick, which is confirmation that the zap is working. 
And if you want, we can also have a look at this spreadsheet right here. So we can see the dummy data has been tested. It all works fine. And then once you've done that and you're happy to go, <clears throat> you can simply click on turn on the zap. And now the zap is going to be turned on and you're good to go from there. So the second example I'm going to be showing you is getting the Facebook leads into a CRM or an email software. I'm going to be using MailChimp as an example, but you could use the same principles for any CRM or email software um, that's pretty much out there. So let's get into it. So same thing again, create a zap. We're going to first create the trigger. We're selecting Facebook leads again. Click continue. Uh, I'm going to skip past this part because we've already done it. And we're just going to select the correct credentials again. And we'll go there. But now the only difference is this time the action. So this time we're going to select MailChimp. I'm going to go for, I'm going to keep it simple and just add a new subscriber when we get a new uh, Facebook lead. So I'll select that. Once again, if you haven't connected your MailChimp or your email client account, you're going to need to do that. If you previously connected it, then simply select it. We'll click on continue. And here we just need to select the correct fields. Um, so I just have an example one here from my MailChimp account, which I'm going to use. And then from here, it's just about matching the correct fields. So for example, in the subscriber email, you can just select email right here. Uh, some of the other details I'm not going to go through, but things like first name and last name, I could do that. Uh, MailChimp doesn't have a full name option, but uh, I can just shove it in there if I'm not really sure. Um, and then you would match all the details from there that you've collected from your, uh, from your, that you've collected from your Facebook lead. Click continue. Again, we'll test it again, same process again. And once we get that green confirmation, we can click on turn on zap and then the zap has been completed. All right, so that's how to get your Facebook leads into a Google Sheet or um, any other software that you like, such as an email client or a CRM. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Um, I'm, as you know, I'm also a Zapier consultant. So if you're interested in working with me, um, you can contact me at the email address, uh, on screen as well. Thanks.